Sorry guys, missed a little bit of the construction sequence there. So I've skipped on a bit from the previous section. I did what I said I was going to do. The bigger wing that I cut, that had got a bit of a, a dip in the middle of it, I cut in half and where it was dipping towards the middle is now going to the tips. So the two outside sections were the bigger centre section originally. And it looks right now. Got a bit of a taper towards the tip. I've also hot glued them together. So we've got a slight tip dihedral. It's only about an inch, I would say, from the join to the tip. If we look along the end, along the edge of it, you can probably see it. So that's our wing. I've also added a thin fiberglass spar there. It's just hot glued. It's sunk in a little bit and hot glued in place. That's one of those spars from the cheap uh, plastic kites. They seem to be using these nice fiberglass spars to um, put them together with. So I've got a few of them tucked away for my purposes. A bit of sticky tape there. That's the same process as before. A bit of sticky tape on the bottom. Fold it open, put the hot glue in it, then fold it up again. So that just acts as a hinge while you're um, while the hot glue is cooling down. I'm not sure whether to cover it all with tape again. It certainly makes it a stronger wing, but obviously it adds a bit of weight. So I'm just thinking whether to do it or not. I probably will, because it does, as I say, add quite a bit of strength to it. So the question is, which tape do I use? I've got some ordinary clear tape here. So I think what I might do is put some coloured tape along the edges and then cover the rest of it with clear tape. There we go. Clear tape and a bit of coloured tape. So we should be able to see it in the sky one way or the other. Quick review of the progress so far. So I've covered the wing in tape. I haven't fixed it to the fuselage yet. I can't make up my mind whether to have it detachable or just glue it in place. It's not a particularly big plane, so I could get away with gluing it in place and still get it in the car. The tail, rudder and elevator, that's just my usual pizza trays. That's it's about um, five millimeter thick styrofoam. So that's ready. Not sure how strong this fuselage is going to be. I can bend it quite easily, but. I don't know what it will be like actually in the air. I could put some strengtheners along the side of it if I need to. Or I could just leave it and see when it breaks and make up my mind then. So, next thing to do is to fit the radio receiver, servos, push rods and elevator and rudder horns and then go and throw it somewhere quite like the colour scheme should be able to see that in the sky with a bit of luck